What you're about to see contains profanities, pixelated full frontal nudity, bodily functions, simulated drunken behavior, and obtrusive plant and bad video editing. Viewer discretion advised. Hey everybody and happy finish Independence Day 2022. We're gonna play a bunch of games by, let's see if this is recording, yeah, by Ozzy Pellit which is a Finnish game developer who makes games for the NES which is a kind of a new thing here um, yeah, homebrew games and we start with Johannes Sauna from 2016 yeah, it's a sauna game which I know there aren't many to begin with I know there was a sauna game for the Commodore 64 made in, I think late 80s and then there was a sauna game for the PC um, but yeah this is probably the most famous sauna game I know of and you play as this naked guy sitting in a sauna who just uh, has to throw some water on the stove and then he goes red well, pink first, and then it goes dark red after a while. As you do in sauna, of course. But when you do that, you need to drink a beer. And you begin with six bottles. When you drink a beer, you go back to being white again. Uh, yeah, I don't know if... This is the... Is it, well, it's the first game that I've <laughs> I've seen any uncensored nudity in on a, on an NES game but um, considering the subject matter it's only natural that it is like this because in Finland we go to sauna naked yeah okay I'm I've reached Hikolia level in this which means you're a sweater not not one that you actually, you know, put on, but rather than you sweat a lot. Yeah. If you go further than this state of redness, you're you're gonna die. <laughs> so yeah. Select and start buttons don't do nothing here. You just throw the water on the stove or drink beer, that's it. Um, I'm also going to play the C64 versions of this game and the next one I'm going to play. But Asipelit made three games for the NES so far. This one, Johan Sauna, the Midsummer Evening Sauna. And Johannes Olympia, uh, Midsummer Olympics. And the third game is was made as a celebration for Finland having independence for th 100 years. So, yeah, that's the third game. But that one hasn't been uh, converted on to the Commodore 64 yet. The other two are. And uh, I'm going to play those two also. See if there's any significant differences in those. Okay, I'm... Uh, I have currently reached the third level, Saunoja, which means you are a good sauna person, I don't know. But I'm running out of beer pretty quickly right now. And uh, yeah, I'll reach the next level soonish, I think. Ooh, beer. Sauna Master, there it is. So you need, what, 5,400 points for that, I, th I guess. I'm not sure if you can go further than that, but I'm gonna try. Throw in some more. Uh, let's 
6,890 points. That's pretty much. Yeah, so you die when you run out of beer and go too hot. But that's Johannes Sauna for you. Let's move on to the next game. Johannes Olympia. Is this. Yeah, this is it. You can play this up to four players. But, of course, I'm, I'm only one person here, so... You can select your character from four possible ones, of course, since there are four possible players. This is Hand Me as Key Man, apparently. <laughs> this... Uh, I, I don't know what this is, JKBT. Must be an abbreviation of something. Hamuri. Uh, judging by the colors on must be Spider-Man. And then the the woman character, Akka. But I'm gonna choose Hanmi's. The first event in this game is Yuoksu Kaliev, which translates to something like running for beer, I guess. So you you're in a alcohol store, you need to run for those beer bottles and collect them as quickly as you can. But since they're always going to be placed rather randomly here, it's going to be difficult to... get to them as quickly as you'd like to, because all of these characters run. Well, actually, Akka seems to be running a bit faster than everyone else, so... You might want to choose Akka for your game. Yeah. But it looks like I'm already in the lead. Let's see. Oh no. Well, seven. Seven is good. Ah. Yes. Eight. Yay! I won that one. Event 2 is boating while drunk, apparently. Olut venelit, like beer boating. So this is a sort of a sports event, because you need to tap the A and B buttons like this. But I'm not sure what the beer portion of this event is, I guess, because it, you don't need to drink, but you can if you want to. It just doesn't do much of anything. Now you win, um, was that three beers when you win the event? So that'll be useful with, with the final event, which is <laughs> urinating from a boat, which is a very Midsummer's Day kind of thing to do when you're drunk, apparently. So, yeah, this is classy. <laughs> you start urinating, and uh, because you're drunk, you start to fall over like that. But if you drink a beer, that'll help you from from falling over. Ah, but that didn't work out. <clears throat> so I'm out of the game, but that's... that's uh, Midsummer Days Olympics 2017, or was it 16? And that's already a much more interesting game to play than than the sauna thing. But, <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's classic. Okay, we move on to the next game now. Yeah, this one is called Perkele, Suomi Satavotta, uh, which is translated to, like, a fucking hell, Finland 100 years. And it's a, it's a game with three events, again, but these are freely choosable from the title screen, as you can see. There's a um, hot dog stand fight, and the revenge of of a seal from 
Saima, <laughs> which is a lake, and uh, Winter War. I'm not sure if I can actually play all of these events, but uh, let's see. This is the hot dog stand fight. I'm gonna start this one. And yeah, it's it's apparently a multi-level event. You play as Kyrsti on the left here. And your opponent here in the first fight is Pena. Very classic sort of drunken guy names in Finland. <clears throat> so you can <laughs> you can taunt. The opponent by pushing the select button and um, if he has the mindset of actually retaliating with a better taunt you're gonna freeze and he can punch you a series of times so it's not particularly recommendable Second opponent, Make, is very much more difficult than the first one. I have no idea how to. Oh, jeez. I have no idea how to beat this guy. I'm not a professional hot dog stand fighter, so I wouldn't know how to do this. But, you know. That's. Hot dog stand fighting for you. And um, let's move on to the next event. Okay, let's go with uh, Simon Norba Kost. Yeah, Simon Norpa is a type of seal that is kind of <coughs> on the verge of extinction, I guess. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I don't know how to actually go about this. This looks like a sort of side-scrolling shoot em up, but you can't actually shoot, so it's just. suppose that if you're a seal you can you, know, you should be able to eat smaller fish but no uh, start button just pauses like usual well you can go through these at least so that's something so it's best just to avoid everything seen so far I, I'd say this this game is much less risque than than how the uh, previous game Juanos Olympias I'm reaching some sort of other area okay 
There seems to be some sort of plot line to this game, but... I mean, who cares, really? Ah, now you can shoot, actually. Dropping bomb things, you can't shoot, but you can shoot into everything else. Oh! Yep. Alright. I wonder if this progresses any more than this. things to avoid here. Oh, well, yeah, it's not a very impressive game, but considering it's part of the same compilation of mini games, I, I guess it's a, it's a pretty good one. Definitely better than most of the games in in the Action 52 compilation, if you know what I mean. But I mean, I I say I wouldn't pay 50 euros for a cartridge of this. I mean, it's funny thing to have, but it's good that it's available as digital downloads right now, because, you know, I, I wouldn't buy this one as an actual cartridge. I'm not that big of a collector. Uh, the Revenge of Simon or for you. Okay, so the third game is Talvisota, which is based on the Winter War from the 1930s, whenever it was. I know my history, don't worry. But uh, yeah, this uh, <laughs> this seems to be possible actually to play both on a pad and a zapper, but, but because I don't have a TV currently in use, which supports zapper use. I'm gonna play it with the pad. But this this cover page here, the title screen for Talvisota is is pretty epic because it's actually based on the book cover, original book cover of uh, a Finnish classic war novel called Untuldematosopilos, The Unknown Soldier by Vanna Lina. And <laughs> this just this soldier here happens to have a zapper yeah held in his hand, so... But I'm gonna start with with a pad. Private no no no. <laughs> Welcome to... No. Okay, let's start. This is a... Definitely a game you would want to play with a zapper, but... It's difficult when the TV doesn't support it, so... Music in this game, all the all the three mini games in this in this cartridge. And the sound effects are pretty good too. Mm. 
Okay. That was level one. Alright. So you got two. Ah! Two enemies at once in level two. That was a very James Bondish sort of a. there's any actual differences between the thin soldiers and the less thin ones. But I guess this one just sort of goes with the saying, one Finnish soldier equals ten Russian ones. I don't know, if I would be designing a game based on the Finnish war time, it would uh, incorporate some card playing. <laughs> Ah, oh, hey, it's a different screen. And maybe some harmonica play. Or, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Hey! That's something you can't shoot. It's a Finnish uh, troop. I can kind of see this would be more difficult with a zapper because your reaction would be more kind of harsh to anything going on on the screen. Ooh. Well, this is this is getting something somewhere now. Different looking enemies, that's that's good. Faster pace of spawning. I wonder how long th this uh, goes on. Ah, a little bit more dark here. But then the enemies are not any any more difficult to spot. Definitely would have been much more fun with a zapper, but there you go. <clears throat> what now? It's another slightly different looking screen, this one. But, uh... Nothing spectacular. Don't shoot. Shoot. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, the game would let me continue, but what's the point? It's just... If it's not playable with 
the controller that you're supposed to play it with, it's not much use of it. But, all in all, I think pretty good games for Finnish games on the NES, and uh, yeah. Very culturally appropriate, if anything. Now let's get to the Commodore 64 versions. Okay, we have... Recording on, and let's start Juhannus Sauna for the C64. This looks kind of exactly as you would expect. It It's a bit different, but... I mean, the water moves quicker to the sauna stove. So that's a plus. <laughs> Already. All right. You throw water by turning the joystick right, and uh, pressing the fire button makes you drink a beer. I think this is a little bit more realistic in terms of how quickly your intolerance goes. Graphically, it's a little more blocky, I think. And, uh, yeah. One thing I notice also is that your sauna master level is much more difficult to reach because if you were playing the NES version you would have been uh, at least saunoja at this point. I think it was 5400 points or something like that. Might have been 6,000 or something. When the game made you a sauna master. So, okay, 6,500 and you reach the second level. So that is pretty harsh. Let's see how far you can go. beer now. I'd be amazed if I can reach the third status. Nine thousand. Ah, the third comes after nine thousand three hundred. But it's practically impossible to reach the sauna master status unless you're really good at this yeah sopu is a sopu is the name under which you can find these conversions from itch.io so go check them out now the last one the c64 version of johannus olympialaiset Yeah, let's go with them. I'm actually going to choose Akka now because that's kind of unresponsive, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Akka is definitely much more, much quicker than the rest, and yeah, she's definitely even quicker than 
she was in the NES version. The difference in this, I noticed that uh, Akka is only able to carry one bottle of beer at once. Actually, so are the other. Apart from Hanmis, he he's able to carry two bottles at a time, but Akka only has room for one. So, yeah. You actually need to press the return key on the C64 to start. And this is another classic left and right waggling thing event, and it's it's much more difficult. I don't know if it, it's about having a different character than Han is, but it appears as if as if Akka is, at least now, a little bit uh, less overpowering than what Han Mies was when I was playing him on, on the NES. Let's see. The event is much longer than than on the NES, so <laughs> it's more tiring. There we go. <clears throat> and the third event, pissing for the boat. Let's see how it goes. I still haven't learned how to play this actually, so. Pull the joystick down to drink a beer. Yeah. If that's all you need to actually do, then. Yeah, that's all you can do. Yay! I won the event. Yeah. So that's the C64 version of Midsummer Day's Olympics. It felt a bit different, but I would have to do some more research on how each of the characters actually perform in each of the levels, each of the events. But yeah, there's there's something to this game. I think it, it's actually my favorite of the three Aussie Pellets games. And, uh, yeah, I might have to actually write a real comparison of this <laughs> to, <laughs> to go along with, with this video. But, let's see. Thanks for watching. See you next time.